Today we're doing the final product review video for the Litter Robot. <laughs> and this is what Trig does with it after it's been used, after he uses it, after Charlie uses it. Um, so it doesn't seem to matter who uses it. He is fascinated by it and always um, on the lookout. Wait, is it moving? It's been, it's moved twice. Should we move it again? Let's get it go. Oh, buddy. So skewed. So it's funny that he's so scared about it. I'm going to cycle it so that um, he'll come and... <laughs> it's funny that he's so... He acts like this because um, he has gone pee in it multiple times. He's gone number two in it multiple times. So um, he's obviously not scared of it enough to not go to the bathroom in it. So Charlie is over it. Charlie was fascinated by it for the first um, 10 times, I'd say, that it rotated. But Trig continues to be fascinated by it. I mean, he'll shoot up the stairs. If I'm looking for him, I can just turn it on and uh, he'll shoot up the stairs. All right, so that's uh, my two cats' personalities based on the litter robot. Now let's get into the thick of it. All right, so footage after this part of the video is going to tell you more or show you more about the cycling and all that kind of stuff. But in this part, I just wanted to talk about what my opinion is of the litter robot and um, what my experience has been. So when litter, when Automated Pets, which is the company that makes Litter Robot, reached out to me and asked if we would be interested in reviewing the open air. Um, I said yes because I know a lot of Floppy Cats readers have the Litter Robot and like it very much. And this open air is specifically made for large breed cats. Um, however, I didn't have any interest in automated litter boxes. I don't have a problem scooping my cat's feces or pee, so I didn't mind at all. Um, I didn't ha see a need for an automated litter box, and I actually had the opinion that people that used automated litter boxes were lazy. So, um, oh, rude, I know, I just saw you close your eyes. Then I had my first Uber ride with a guy that was a firefighter. And he asked me what I did, and I said, you know, I have a, a website about cats, and I do product reviews, and he's like, oh, have you ever reviewed an automated litter box? I really would like to um, get one, but I don't know which one to get. And I was like, uh, Funny that you ask. We are getting one sent to us. And I said, but I've always, you know, thought that litter or automated litter boxes are um, ridiculous because just like, how can someone not scoop the poop? And he said, he only works eight days a month and he can be on a 48 hour, um, he can be gone 48 hours from his cat. And he felt, feels bad that he can't um, get the, the litter box scooped in those 48 hours. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot more sense. I also have a brother who has a cat, as many of you know, because you've seen her on my YouTube channel, her name is Boots, who does not like to scoop litter boxes. So this would allow the, the litter box to be clean without a human present. So in fact, the um, litter robot that we're looking at right now will be headed to my brother's house um, after this review is completed because I want his cat to have a clean litter box like my cats have had clean and litter boxes their whole lives. So since I had such a negative opinion about automated litter boxes, can we just talk about how awesome Charlie is? Bub, I love you. I love that you're just sitting there. You're being a handsome guy. Um, I didn't anticipate liking this. I love this thing. <laughs> I love this thing. Um, I would definitely add a litter mat. Um, we use Dr. Elsie's Precious Cat and um, it 
scatters quite a bit with this thing more more so than in our regular litter boxes so but I love I walk by it and it's like cycled and it's clean and I'm like oh that's so nice it's done it's like somebody did your vacuuming or something not that um oh folks we might have a little special treat right here um I I love that it's clean when I go by it <laughs> Charlie's playing with it um, I've only had one issue with it, and that is I overfilled the litter. There's a, there's a line on the inside that shows you where to fill it, but I filled it maybe a tiny bit higher. Literally, it has to be like perpendicular to that line or below it, um, or the sensor gets all screwed up, and then it will get stuck in its cycle. So all you have to do is unload the litter box, but or unload the litter, like take out a scoop. What a crazy freak. Um, so he sometimes plays in the litter box. I have videos on YouTube of him playing in the litter box and this is just a problem he has. Um, and talk about my problems that because that happened though, I would certainly absolutely say if you get a litter robot, definitely have a regular litter box backup because if you can imagine like the litter, not, um, perpendicular so that they can go to the bathroom that level um, would be very problematic if you were gone for several days. The litter robot, <laughs> Bubby, I'll let you. Litter robot is made in the USA. It self cleans after every use, as you guys are going to see um, in this this footage that follows. Uh, there's a carbon filter down in there that I'm going to talk about a couple times in the footage that follows, because. Um, of the efficiency of the scooping, you can end up saving money on your litter. It comes, I'll include a link in our arrival video so that you can see how it comes. I, it is all completely assembled. You just pull it out of the box and it's ready to go other than you have to um, hook up the AC adapter. So Charlie and Trig are 14 pounds each and they both have no problem. Uh, their weight really has nothing to do with their size. They are big cats. Um, a lot of people are always surprised by how little they weigh. They really are large cats um, in body frame as far as is what I'm talking about. The entryway, as you can tell, fits. he fits totally fine. Um, but it is safe for cats as um, little as five pounds. Uh, all of these buttons... I will show you in the footage, but um, not to the extent where, I, you know, they would, could really be talked about. I just don't find that interesting, so I wasn't going to include that in the review. But, you know, um, there are other videos on YouTube that explain it, or the literature that comes with the litter robot also explains it in depth. Um, when I had that situation where it got caught, I call, I reached out via email to their... Um, customer service and then they called me uh, within 24 hours to, to help me you know, troubleshoot what the issue was. It has a 90 day money back guarantee, an 18 month warranty. The cats really had no problem using it. For two days I left it, I put their um, litter from their old litter box in there, did not turn it on, just let them use it like they would any other litter box. They've never had a hooded litter box so that was maybe different for them. Um, once they had started to use it on a regular basis, then I plugged it in, cycled it, and there's footage at the end of this video with my sister. My sister's filming and I'm holding the cats and they're seeing it cycle for the first time. They were fascinated with it for the first like five cycles. Charlie then got over it, but Trig continued to be fascinated by it. Um, it, do it doesn't make a lot of noise as you'll notice, but it did wake me up in the middle of the night one time when the cats had used it as I wasn't used to the sound, but I sense have not woken up in the middle of the night. So if you're sensitive to sounds, you might want to place it somewhere where it's not going to wake you up. Um, this is right next to my bedroom. This bathroom is, uh, attaches to my, not attaches, but is right next to my bedroom. So that's why it was so close for me to hear. And finally, a long time ago, not a long time ago, but a few months ago, one of my readers said, you know, you do all these product reviews, but you never talk about whether or not you would buy them by the product yourself. This is a $400 litter box, $400 plus I think. Um, 
I don't have a need for an automated litter box, so I would not buy this for $400 because I'm on a very limited budget, so I couldn't imagine spending $400 on a litter box when I need to spend it on food or something like that. Um, if I could give my brother a gift, which I am serendipitously allowed to do with this one, uh, I would gift him with one of these. So I would buy it for someone else, no problem. It is an awesome machine. I've really been pleasantly surprised by how much I really like it. Um, I'm actually going to be sad to have it go because Triggy watches it all the time and I'm going to feel sorry for him <laughs> that his, his little robot's gone. His little spaceship. And yeah, I, I mean, I don't have a problem with it at all, to be quite honest. I just don't have a need personally for it other than to review it for you guys. Um, so I... You know, I'm I'm excited for my brother to experience it because then I think I'll be able to even review it further to offer his um, feedback and that sort of thing. I just ran as fast as I could to go and get um, my camera because <laughs> I've been trying to get on video, um, Charlie and Trig go in the bathroom in this thing. <laughs> Whew, I'm out of breath. My camera was on the first floor and um, this is on the second floor. Okay, so you can tell that it's on the red light, meaning that um, it's gonna wait seven minutes for it to cycle. I mean, seven minutes until it starts cycling to uh, scoop the litter box. So I'll show you guys that. Okay, it's already started rotating. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how it rotates because my brothers were asking when I um, told them about it and showed them a picture how it rotates. And then you can see Charlie's pea clump right there. And that's the black plastic liner that comes down. So that pea clump will fall into the waste bin, hopefully. Sometimes the pea clumps have been too big or they get stuck in certain areas. Um, but that's only happened twice, but it doesn't drop back in. It eventually um, figures itself out. It might take two or three cycles, but it gets it done. But my brothers were asking if it was the, what part rotated and that's the part that rotates. So that pea clump should have gone in that space right there, but it didn't as you saw. It got stuck in the other spot. Uh, this is one thing to consider with a larger breed cat that is on a wet food diet. My cats are on a wet food diet, so they have larger pea clumps and they also um, are larger cats, so they have bigger bladders. Um, so unfortunately in that situation that, with this the only the second time out of gosh knows how many, it didn't go down. So, it didn't empty, so all you have to do is hit cycle on here for it to start the process again. So if you were to come home and it wasn't cleaned out or whatever, then that's all you would need to do in order for it to hopefully go down. So all the quote unquote clean litter gets filtered through that spot there. And then the pea clump this time might be in a better position to drop into the waste bin.
I know that this is a lot of time to watch something in a review video, but I also think it's important to show um, what, see there it goes, what can happen or what will happen. Be real, if you will, in a review. Okay, so it's doing that cycling. While it's doing that cycling, I'll open up this waste bin to show you that the pea clump dumps in there. And then there's a charcoal filter right there that um, really keeps the odor out at all. So, and once the, the waste bin is empty, it even, I mean full, it will tell you that it needs to be emptied. And you guys saw the process of the clean litter um, back, put back, so no need to repeat that. I wanted to show you what the litter robot looks like at nighttime. Um, and actually, Charlie is in the sink. So that blue light, um, it actually just went off, um, is what shows up at nighttime when um, the lights are off. Okay, I wanted to show you the fill capacity. So this is um, where the litter robot, mm, there's a little something special there that I might have to uh, use to get out of there. But this is where it's, it's, it blinks and it tells me it's full. So that can give you a good idea. You know, if you moved that over there, whatever, you could certainly make more fit. But this is also kind of proof that they've been using it religiously. Um, and this carbon filter here does a really nice job. Like I just opened this up and was like, whoa, bam! Like it hit with um, the smell of urine and feces and I don't smell it with this carbon filter, so that's really cool um, that that doesn't happen. Okay, and then I wanted to show you how easy it is to replace the bag. So there was a little bit of litter left in this when I pulled the bag out, and I just, you know, collected all in that corner um, and then put it into the bag that I am depositing in the waste wastebasket. Um, so it has these little uh, clippy doos over here, and I'm sure that's the professional name that Litter Robot uses, clippy doos. Um, and this is a, they send you two bags um, that you can use, and then after that, you can either buy more of their bags or just use like a regular trash bag. Um, they might have a better video of how to replace these bags so that it doesn't, um, you know, you don't have the poop on the pro side problem like I sort of did. Okay. I can also see myself using like um, one of the bit, I don't think like a regular size Target bag would work, but one of the big size Target bags could work or one of the big size CVS bags could work well. Um, and then you just, Line it up like you would a regular drawer and push it back in. I was ready to go. Okay, thanks so much for watching our Litter Robot Open Air review. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the About section below. I'll include a link to where you can buy it online. There's a couple of different buying choices and different websites. And I think that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Helps our channel grow and helps me bring you more videos like this one. And again, the footage about... Um, the footage of Charlie and Trig seeing it for the first time follows our little subscribe 20 second clip and then you'll see my sister and I talking and showing the cats the litter, box, the litter robot rotating for the first time. See you next So my sister and I went to dinner tonight and Charlie, um, I decided to show her the open air litter box and Charlie's freaking out on the cycle stage, but he's interested enough where he keeps coming back. Come on, buddy.
And then I'm trying to lift him up so that he can watch it too. That P kind of is marked on the... Oh yeah, it is. It's okay. Where's it go? What's it do? What's it do? It's going somewhere? You find myself like shaking him a little bit like they do at the vet when they take his blood. <laughs> like a baby. Yeah. Where's it go? What's it do? Is that going? clump from earlier. Can you just use normal bags or do you have to use their bags? You, they send you two, but then you can use just regular gallon bags. Or, I don't know, the, the size they have on their site. God. I think it's not gallon because that would be the size of a milk container and who would have a trash bag that size, but I think it's 13 gallon or something like that. Cool. Well, Pretty cool. Yeah, fits perfectly in a 1940s bathroom. <laughs> it's a perfect, you can access the toilet so well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not the ideal spot. Oh, yes. Well. Just two bathroom, two bathrooms in one. <laughs> True. Bye for now. He's not as scared of the vacuum cleaner as Charlie is. See, that's timing. He's not going now, you're just sitting. <laughs> Probably. Like, is this where I can hide? I'll just hide in here. She Oh my gosh, she's talking to me. Hi, you him? Oh no. Jay, who's talking to me? He's getting some lighter fur in like the middle of his nose. Is that is your ear freaking red? Oh, it is kinda red. Kid? Should I cycle it now? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know the cat owners have tried that. He would be out in a second. Oh my god, I would not want to be the recipient of that jump. Yeah. Go hing. <laughs> Are you going to come out of here? Oh, that's my pee from earlier. Yeah, I'm... I'm thinking though, buddy, if you made this your like um, place that you wanted to sleep, wouldn't be the best thing. No. It's like a little spaceship. <laughs> yeah. If he, um, I guess if he slept in there though, that he, you know, how Camus likes to lay around in litter, um, maybe it wouldn't cycle until his weight was gone. Tiggy, the machine's gonna think you're a kitty having diarrhea staying in there that long. Tig, what the colors? Tig, 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 tig. Tig. <laughs> there you are, handsome guy. <laughs> gonna bring litter all out with you. No, oh, we didn't. Mm -hmm. we did it. Ready? Okay, ready? All right, what? Yeah. Oh, God. What in the hell? What is it, Gauss? Hey, Jig. It's okay. Where's it go? Where's it go? He's like kind of shaking. 
Uh, should I bolt? Should I not bolt? Should I bolt? He's interested too. Yeah. He's got his little ferret head going. Hey, Fink, where's it go? His, his body is less tense than Charlie's, but he's also less predictable. He's like a super cat. I think. It's going, Tig. No, it doesn't stop, Tiggy. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> this is where Jenny's going to lose skin. Hey. And come back the other way. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, can you dig the claws in more in my arm? Whoa. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that feels so nice. Tig, this is your version of a massage. Goodness, that thing is the scariest thing on earth. You will not be sitting that thing again. Maybe he'll go up to it though afterwards like Charlie did. Well this is like the longest video ever. I can splice it. Shake do Shiggy Oh, sorry. Amy. <laughs> Oh, that's a good spot for him. Yeah, he's not going to stay. Why does it go all the way that way up? See his little nose, like, trying to smell mm -hmm. it? What is it, Gauss? Oh, it 